Hey guys, welcome back to MLB 21, the show Red Sox Franchise Mode. And today we'll be looking at our player, Michael Chavez, has injured himself, which means Jeter Downs will be caught up to the majors once again. And as I said, our injury crisis has not ended yet because uh, pretty much uh, all the infielders that I relied on so far in this season... Um, Michael Chavis, Kike Hernandez, and also Sandro Bogarts has all been out. And right now, all the middle infielders that I'm going to use are pretty much prospects from uh, AAAs. And right now, we have uh, who else we have right now? Chad Dalagua, Jonathan Alouz, and right now, Jeter Downs. And of course, earlier, just now, I was about to say MLB 22 to show, but you know what? I think MLB 22 show is coming in, in in 10 days and I'm still like 40 games behind. So I got to wrap this thing as soon as possible because I have all the footages right now, but I just need time to uh, record and edit them. But today we have Nathan Navaldi on the mound today against the Baltimore Orioles. Of course, we are trying to sweep the Baltimore Orioles. Currently, they are, again, as I said, I don't want to use this word, but they are literally the worst team in AL East currently at dead last. But guess what? They scored two runs in the first inning against Nathan Navaldi. And in real life, Nathan Navaldi is most likely to be uh, to be a starter, uh, to to be the opening starter for the Red Sox after Chris Sale is out with a string rip or or a kind of fracture rip or something like that. So he is going to be out for a good couple of months before he will return. But the whole starting rotation is starting to get a little bit competitive. Because we all know that Nathan Valdi will be the number one starter. And then um, Nick Pafetta, Rich Hill, Michael Wacha, and also Ton uh, Tanner Hawk at this point. So uh, yeah, um, surrounded by young and veteran players. But I believe they're all ready to go for this season. And later on, better, better, uh, bottom of the second, 2-2 uh, right now. And then uh, top of the third, 1-2-3 inning by Nathan Valdi. Finally, a good a, a good inning. 3-1 count to Hunter Renfro. He's going to ground that one to third base. 5-4-3 double play. And uh, yeah, we scored that run. But that LBI will not be counted towards to um, Hunter Renfro. But later on, Baltimore scores one goal with the RBI ground out. And here comes a ground ball right there. You know what? That's what pisses me off sometimes. It's just that, you know what? A very easy play. All of a sudden one player just complicates stuff and throw the ball over uh bobby dahlback or kyle swarber whoever's starting that game but yeah i was i was fuming but not quite because just like that we score uh we scored a tying run and that would be the end for the starter for baltimore or isaac Matson will be coming on to make his 35th appearance 3-2 count to kyle swarber he is going to earn his rbi walk right there and we have we took the lead 5-4, still at the bottom of the fours. Next batter, J.D. Martinez, 3-1 count, and he is going to slice that one. A 4-6-3 double play. Another double play is being hit by J.D. Martinez, and but it doesn't matter. One run is going to score, and we have extended the lead to 6-4. And a back-to-back 1-2-3 inning by Nathan Navaldi, an 0-2 count, uh, getting the batter fly out to center. Danny Santana is right there, and Christian Vasquez added two more runs into the tally 8-4 with an RBI single two runs are going to score from second and third Garrett Riches will be coming on on the mound with a four run lead currently at um, in this ball game 2-2 count to Sisto and he's going to ground that one lines that one to center field and uh, the runner from second is going to score but that's a very poor base running this this guy's speed is 6 and it decided to uh, steal, go like steal second right there. Um, why not just stay on base and keep the rally going? But it wouldn't matter because Travis Lackens Jr. has come on, striking out Hunter Renfro and getting Christian Vasquez to fly out to center field. And no runs are scored in this inning. Moving on to the top of the seven, we have Ryan Brazier coming on for the mound. Uh, right now, three ones. He is trying to get the uh, the hold, I think. Well, is it called hold or something else? But striking out the batter, moving on to the bottom of the seventh, Sean Armstrong will be coming on uh, for, the, uh, for the 61st game. And J.D. Martinez hits that one to left field, and it is going to be a fly out. <laughs> I thought it was going to hit the monster, but it turns out it is going to be a very easy fly out in the end. 
uh, Adam Ottavino will be coming on to make his 55th appearance. Mike Michael Franco goes down on strike with a slider outside of Solon and 0-1 count to Pefa Laikas. Grounds that one to Ottavino. Thank God this time he is not going to throw it over uh, Kyle Swarber. Caesar uh, Valdez will be coming on. Bottom of the 8th. 2-2 count to Rafael Devers. Strikes out with the changeup. Wow, you will never see that from Devers. He literally swung that quite early. 3-2 count to Hunter Renfro. Goes down on the strike again. Uh, slider inside the zone. Could have done better then. In 0-2 count to Bobby Dahlback. Goes down on strike with the sinker. I don't recall the last time where the Red Sox have a strike out the side with the batters. But that's a very interesting one. Matt Barnes coming on. 0-2 count to Chance. Sacito goes down on strike with knuckle curve at a at the bottom of the zone. And 1-2 count to Tyler Nevin. And he is also going to swing and a miss. And we sweep the Baltimore Orioles 8-5. And Nathan Nivaldi, very shaky start, but still managed to get a dub. Thanks to Baltimore Orioles defense. Not defense, actually pitching. Uh, it's been walking a lot of guys, just giving up very unnecessary run, even though we did too, to be honest. But 8-5, Matt Barnes earning his earning his save. We got 13 hits with 8 runs. I think that's pretty good. Play of the game, it's Matt Barnes. Yeah, play of the game is definitely Matt Barnes for sure. But we committed 4, er four errors, which is probably uh, probably one of the, the most that we have committed uh, in the MLB, the show game. But it wouldn't matter, we take the dub. Uh, Nathan Valdi gets the win, five innings pitch, allowing five hits, striking out one, um, four earned runs. And Jorge Lopez will be taking the Nell in 44th space with Matt Barnes. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next series.